Have you ever wondered why rebar is classified with a pound symbol like up above? No? Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. And spoiler alert, the US does it differently than just about everywhere else on the planet because of course we do. In the US, we have a numbering system to designate the size of our rebar. And it ranges from a number three all the way up to a number 11 and then skips to a number 14 all the way up to a number 18. Number three designated as the smallest bar possible all the way up to 18, you guessed it, being the largest bar possible. And those numbers are based on the diameter of the rebar in eighths of an inch increments. So a number four bar is equivalent to four over eight, which is equal to one half of an inch in diameter. A number five is five eighths of an inch in diameter. Number eight is an easy one, is eight over eight equaling one inch in total diameter. And then of course a number nine bar is nine eighths of an inch in diameter. Well, actually not. <gasps> You see number nine bars and above here in the US, this rule actually doesn't apply anymore. It's almost exact, but it slightly varies from the actual fraction because I don't know, we're just gonna chalk it up to America, you know? Most of the world keeps it simple, however, and just calls rebar based on its diameter in millimeters. But how they write that down on paper varies slightly across the globe. In Europe, you likely see a diameter symbol followed by the number in millimeters of the diameter of that bar. In Canada, they use M standing for metric and their sizes are almost the diameter in millimeters, but can vary slightly. In Japan, they use a capital D standing for diameter. And places like Australia and New Zealand use N meaning normal ductility steel, which is really more about the material composition of the rebar. And the number afterwards is the diameter of the bar. And a little fun fact, a number eight bar is basically the same size as a European diameter 25 bar. But if you ask for a number eight overseas, they might end up giving you a coffee instead. 